Hey folks, welcome back to Ostriff. Just noticing our great big white milk bottle. <laughs> That's what that chimney looks like. Um, that is the glass work, so we're still building the pottery. That's probably coming up soon, though now that I look at it, it's clear over here. Let's concentrate on these houses first. I went through and set some things up around them. You ever seen uh, uh, housing tracks or subdivisions that uh, they've, they've cleared all the land and got all the utilities in, the sewer pipes and the water pipes are sticking up out of the dirt, but that's it? That's kind of like what this feels like right here. Yeah, all the lots are ready to build on. So we will let these guys build. I was going to say, you're going the wrong direction, but no, I guess not. You're, uh, you've already dropped off. But let that run. We've got a warning that our brick maker has too much stuff and can't bring over something. Needs some more clay, needs some more sand, needs some more water, needs a whole bunch more charcoal, and we're out of room. Yeah, maxed out. So I built three warehouses over here in preparation for the glassworks and pottery, but I don't see any reason why we can't use some of these for those sort of things. So let's over here. Oh, I see we're employed. Oops. Uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Don't need you you no. so all right so you guys are just gonna be empty warehouses so you can be brick just as a dumping place for now so we can keep bricks coming Riffa. and let's i just got to thinking i've got nowhere realistically to place iron or set up to to take it except for over here We've been making iron pretty steady, steady through all this, and actually we're not storing that much. I got 2,000 space over here and only 460 in it. Uh, you, yeah, you've only got 300 here, and you have only got 92 there. So no, we're not overwhelmed in iron yet, even though we're running six months a year now. Not running a lot of labor, but we are open pretty much every almost every month that the river is not frozen um we got a thousand sitting in here we're calling for a thousand we can't go beyond that oh okay well for now let's just do i have you set up i kind of do let's trigger these two and i was going to say let's just see if anything happens on its own could i'm waiting to see a red down arrow suddenly show up from a wagon or a, a cart to get the order give it a few more seconds not happening okay well let's do the for the very first time order a thousand iron hauled by wagon up to here and see how that works and how are our wagons doing we can't actually click here and get anything we have to find the actual wagon uh, there we go, and see what his condition is like. Which means, I don't even know how to, I guess I could do this to locate them. There we go. So you're over there, and you are over here on your way back in. Okay, let's see how you're doing. Are we keeping up with horseshoes and tack at a rate comparable to how quickly we're using them? So you were the very first one over here. Do we have four more horseshoes ready to go yet in here? We do. So there's four there, and there's six here. We may not be using this horse, unfortunately. I can't send him back. We're probably not going to slaughter. Are we setting up a second wagon shed and order two more horses? I don't know. So I'm not going to make any decisions here right now. Other than that, we don't need to go beyond eight there. Uh, that is this one. So horseshoes, eight at the most. And then we'll put everything else into this one. So that's almost stocked there. And I still don't know if... I, I didn't notice when I clicked make a, make a draft animal if you know the quantity of horse tack that was used. We've got over here 12. Let's make you an eight also. So everything else drops into the other one. And we'll just see how that works. I think it'll bring the excess over. Um, you are set to take up to 
Just 12. Okay. Um. Yeah, good enough. As we use it, we'll refill it. So I think those numbers realistically work for the small operation we're, we're dealing with right now. Speed things back up again. We are into July. No warnings over our orchard, so those have... Uh, Whoops, those have hired. You are telling me that we are down to four logs left. July. So I guess I do need to kick this up a little bit. You're going to go there. We'll take a month off. Yeah, you're there. And... Oh, something like that. I'm not sure. They, only, they can only go until they hit 18. And then they will... Uh, then they'll stop cutting down trees and just just sit there and twiddle their thumbs. So it's kind of hard to time that one out. Um, especially since I started dumping this firewood over right there over into these stalls. But we had a huge quantity of charcoal. We're down to 20,000. So we've restocked everything around here. We've refilled the trader. And all of those supplies no longer count as town storage. What is counting is what's sitting right in here, right? Because I doubt they've moved anything into a warehouse. Well, they did. 7,500. What did I say? Charcoal was 2,700. Okay, well, these, they look impressive, but they're already half used up. Yeah, fives and fours and threes, and it's the same graphic. Okay, this is the only one that's got most of its eight to 9,000 left. Okay, you guys are doing what? We're still using the logs as fast as we're making them. Interesting. I can't really get them into here any faster. We got five guys working this, and there's not that much left to cut down. Probably this episode will uh, will mothball this guy and shift operation over. So we got to think about doing that. That's going to be the last of their trees right there. So we got to think about a new charcoal location. You know, centering a charcoal industry around something else. Um, what else needs to be thought about? Fishing probably could be thought about. With houses starting to go in over here, we could fire off one of these guys. Um, we are bringing salt over. Good. You two? Nope, just you. So let's start with you then. Uh, let's get three boats on their way. What months out of the year do you work? Because you don't need to work all the time. Uh, you will be running until October. That's probably enough to get three boats over there. Uh, let's go ahead and get one guy in here for starters and we'll move into three eventually maybe before the end of the season um, Yeah, running at fast speed. I missed the other one completely So Marifa, I think I said it was so Barmikave, let's see what you have going on. You're right here Um, You want to buy we're in July. I'm going to slow down so I can think for a little while. Potatoes left are 1,000. That means what for us? It means almost nothing's over here. So they last time. They were in here last time. And they were in here last time. So the bulk is still over here. And we're not that bad. We should be able to eat those up. So the pigs have taken what? And what is happening over here? So four pigs, and we still have a lot of the the uh, merch or the the pig food that we had before. So I took this down to 200 between episodes each. That was just too much product going in, and I can even do it with the potatoes. They're just not eating me out of house and home like I was anticipating. We could ramp this up a little bit further, maybe double what we have in here as they start to grow up. I suppose we can do that. Uh, that one's ready to build, isn't it? That one is. You are where? You're one of these guys. Here? Yeah. Let's move you into this list. We'll get a bunch of houses built real quick. And that should be finishing up... Uh, oh, by the end of this year. Probably by the time snow hits or into the winter. Otherwise, we're starting over here. Nice young family moved in. 1818. Cool. You guys are next. And what else? Water is there. I went ahead and played with this a little bit more after last episode. Got the majority of the booths scheduled. Whether they'll fill right now is another thing. Um, everybody employed? 
No, well, we got nothing to put into that one yet. Or this one, okay. So these are the two that I'd filled last time. So I filled everything else and then dumped these. So you, salt flour, sunflower, oil, and soap. You're employed. You are and you are. Okay. So as we get into this October, these need to be drawing from the, uh, the gardens over here. So I guess we're going to need to get two hired up. I think so. We can do minimally right now. Just do two of them. And grab what you can. And grab whatever's left. You are going to be booze. And whatever else. Maybe this will be the one that gets the flour and the salt and what have you. Don't know what we'll do with the other two. Other than see which products are coming in with the highest quantities. Like, uh, well, peas. And, uh honey and those sort of things for now let's continue to dump everything back over here i think we'll do that for a little bit longer eventually though these will lose their their uh, take from other granary uh, status and this will gain that and everything will start to be funneling into this area that's that's coming it's not here yet though but that's going to be a thing someday all right speed things back up again right did I even do the trade? I don't think I did. Too much going on. Okay, you guys, we we got to potatoes and we, we never got any further. Flour, you will do. Yeah. What numbers? Flour's rot. I think you get about a year out of it. So let's get rid of, we got another crop coming in. So of wheat. So let's get rid of a 1,000 of you guys. So deal we have 13 days left flour uh right there i was trying to decide whether or not to sell potatoes while we can we have another crop coming in right now so we may as well so in that case uh do that potatoes as well yeah clean up the old one well I'm trying to think of what was was that the number from before i think it was i don't think they've actually harvested any yet so we have a thousand potatoes right now Sitting in the system that's getting close to rotting. Let's deal. Let's grab those as fast as we can. And see if we can pull those out before these other ones start to get sold instead. Maybe it's already too late to do that. 1,000 potatoes. And let's jump into that. You are the trading dock. So you're already set for 100 150%. I think that'd be good. It's one of the few that I have upped the wages on for the laborers. And even you are not truly needed. So we'll just do the laborers. And there's 200 potatoes coming in. But they're coming in from a lot of different areas. So they must be sitting all over the place. You're not in here, are you? No. But we didn't see a 1,000 potatoes. We went looking. There was 80-something. 80 89 in there. And, and over here we had 200 and something. So have you guys sitting on the rest of them? No. We didn't see them in there so where are the rest of the potatoes this only had 500 and this doesn't count it's not storage i don't know that answer hmm you're not sitting in here you are sitting in here you're the ones the 800 that that mistake happened from okay so 700 already reserved and they're on their way in perfect and that is this whole batch right here must be 100 per <laughs> something like that okay so that's taken care of uh do we need to buy anything from you guys i don't remember buying much from you Harilka. we could do a thousand of you though where are we at we're at sixteen thousand in the treasury a thousand of you bring that in glaze we're still we're at two thousand for the town we would already dealt with that wool i don't know if it's worth bringing in extra wool for making product I don't think it's an industry I really want to specialize in, so we'll ignore that. Sheepskin, we're still plenty in storage and in the uh, the the tailor's shops. Two of them? I think it's one we doubled up on. Um, so, we're fine. Lime, yeah, 13,000. Okay, we're done with these guys. Click away. So, we were talking about this one. One boat is already in. And another couple is married. 
we'll get another worker in for when that boat arrives the salt has arrived and what are we putting salt wise into these things 500 salt 1000 apply to all let's get that happening okay and salt in town is at 9500 okay so where is cart number one would be nice if there was a, a wagon number one with the most wear right here you nope that's the 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 lone horse where's the clump 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 uh, what was the order that I had them do? It was iron. Heading up into here. Into there. So, not hear any clump clumps over here. We just heard one, but I think that was one I already looked at. Right in here. Yeah. Oh, nope, that is you. So, what happens after this trip? Do you go in? Is that officially done? Or we're going to get one more load? We're going to get one more load. Oh, oh, you stopped. You stopped hard. You pull in and park where the horses go. Oh, they stick out this end. Okay. All right. So you... I can no longer get to you. Interesting. Oh, there you are. Well, I had you. Click. Click. There. So... And you're out of here. Is that you? I think it is. Yep, you're highlighted. Okay, so we'll get one more run out of you. Curious to see how this works. At this point, we have we have ten horseshoes over here and twelve tack. Okay, you're pulling in. So I don't know if they stop, like when a cart has to be repaired and gets brought over and dropped onto the uh, drop onto the the lift over there and get get uh, get its axles greased. So I'm not not sure what happens when the horseshoes wear out. Um, so you now have a boat, and you have a worker. You're waiting for another boat. That's probably you? No, it's not. You are supplying resources. Ah, you used it all up. Okay. You do not any longer allow laborer by cart. Ah, okay. So, we'll let you uh, do your thing. What else is going on? Let's check in on the bricks. It was 16,000. You're now down to 16,000. Okay, well, we didn't do much, did we? You're going over here. Nothing happened. Okay, we do need to hire you so that you will actively go and get it. Um, that's that one. What do I want here? I want an active warehouse. You. There's nobody working here. Because you were full and there was no need to. Kind of the job was done. Yeah. So that's all. Let's just apply to all. Make sure that the rest of these got those orders. And you are going to work. Then you should go and start emptying bricks. Let's see how that works. I don't see any laborers over here. There's 120 bricks on their way. You did get a cart. Nice. Ladies who are workers will grab carts. And there we go. And that should get the operation running again here. I'm guessing enough left to get that batch going. We just couldn't get the next batch going until. But we'll start chipping away at this, which will open up more space for all of these thousands. Yeah, okay. And the thousands that just went into those bricks cleared up some space for some more thousands too. So little by little, it's all working. Bunch more coal is being cooked. That 20,000 is now 35,000. So it cycles up and down. More clump clumps. That is a neat sound to hear. I can never find them though. You are still dumping coal or uh, ore. And you stopped to. Interesting. I thought you stopped there. But you've got nails? No, you're. Iron ore is in boxes. You went there to pick it up. To bring it here. Using a wagon. I'm going to say no to that. It seems like, I don't know, not, not much of a use for a, a wagon. Eh, I guess not, but I don't know. That just seems like something that a, a cart would do just as fast. 
without wearing on horseshoes. <laughs> yeah. Stingy with my horseshoes. <laughs> now, how are we on hay? You're empty. You have got 500. You have got 500. And you've got something in there. So 227. I had set up, wrong fingers, these guys, and I see they're not using them. Let's think about putting some more of these over here for now, since I don't know what goes over here. So let's put you in. That was a village house is done, and it's waiting for immigrants. Nobody moved in. And right there. So we should get, and this is what I'm curious about. If I, oh, I do have four over here. Okay, let's add another, well, what are you doing right now? You're taking a rest. Let's put two in here. I'm curious to see if she will start collecting grass. Uh, this is the last month to test that too. So you are going to work. So the cow sheds, any chance? Well, the sheep right there will milking sheep, working, taking a rest. Okay, we're not showing that over there. Here, here, working. So you're just sitting there and you're not willing to go and fill these up even though they're available. Okay, that's what I wanted to know. So that must not be a thing like the sheep farm and the cow shed. New family settling in. Good, that's you. Got three kids on their way and a couple of them are almost ready to, uh, to get a job. And there is Marifa. And one is about ready to go to school, which is here. Still just this one lonely little kid named Les who needs a buddy. <clears throat> so, need to get that done. I see fish, boats all around. You're the second boat. And that's probably all we're going to get this year, so I'm going to quit it too. Yeah, he's been sitting here getting a free ride for a while. Though he's taking a rest and he's going to work. Somebody's going to grab a boat. Somebody's going to go fishing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marifa, what do you want? We are down to one salt over here because of that order last time. But let's, before I just jump into that, let's see what Marifa wants. Uh, that's the wrong one. No it's, no, it's the right one, but that's the different city. Okay. Here we go. So you do salt. You will do 1355. We have 98. So deal. And let's bring this back up to 2000. And we'll tap from there. Okay. Instantly there's 300 coming. Marifa. You do warm clothes and broadcloth. We don't need any of those. You do wheat. We now have 3100. We just harvested a bunch. And I didn't get a chance to go check out the farm. So I don't know how well they did or didn't did um sunflower oil we have none in town but we just got a whole new crop so we should be fine there soon buckwheat we usually flutter between 2,000 and 4,000 depending on the year um otherwise is there anything else here we usually deal in dried fish we're at the 500 marks so that should get us through winter and I want to scroll when I'm in this mode, and I can't. So, sunflowers. We've only brought in 500. So far. Okay. That means they're still laying out in the field. That's now fallow. It was buckwheat. This was sunflower. And there's still a bunch of it sitting out here. And then it has to be turned from harvest into this. So, we've got... I don't know if this is what has been brought in or if this is counting what hasn't been brought in. You are walking in with, and it doesn't say, a quantity. I'm curious to see if this goes up. Let's speed you up. <clears throat> 579, when you get back to the farm, does that change? Yep, it does. So we've still got a bunch more sitting out here. Okay, so we have plenty of sunflowers for the year. To restock our own supplies. Boats are coming in. Houses are being built. Uh, raspberries have been planted. And over here we did get some more 
honey, not much. We've got some. And we managed to get something grown into these side yards. Good. We didn't lose any of the sides. Except for this one. No, no. It's right there. Okay. Because these were a little bit skinny. Because I was worried that we'd have to sacrifice these sides. But it looks like they're going to work. Oh, got some good honey over there. Great. So I've got a market going on now. We've got stuff in pretty much every stall except for this one. So this stuff all comes next month. Yeah, October, that's going to happen. Uh, are we any closer to filling more of this up? We're not. Next month we'll do that. You are the brickworks, and we need more of that moved. Okay, though something just happened and made a little space. So you are over here, and... What just happened there? When I moved... I moved these to apply to all. I didn't think I had changed this again. I hired somebody, so she go and get those 200 bricks. Did I unhire her somehow? Or is there some kind of... Uh, no, that's August, September. Off-season somehow. I hired up when we were in off-season. Okay. Zero and one will go that route. That's what it should be. Do I do any of the other ones? There's nothing going into these. And until we hit this first row house over here, we won't be doing anything with this load. So I don't see that there's a need. Whatever happened to our carts? You and you. Are you the one that just got redone? Could be. Uh, don't see another cart in there. And, well, you got 16 and 12. You. Hmm. I don't know if that was number two or that was number three. Is there another one out here? I don't hear any more clip-clopping. Nope. Okay, charcoal. What happens? How do we continue charcoal operations now there's no more trees to take down, at least at this point? Though these trees should go down here. Yeah. Okay, let's let's set a few more trees to go down. So this one, unmark these. And instead Where I'm where am I? Here. Mark what? This road needs to be cleared. These are all fine. This is looking pretty good in here now. I like that. Um, I can't tell if those are shadows or little trees trying to grow. I think those are all shadows. Uh, let's see. That's not a road. This is, and it's nice and clear. This was not... No, actually, this is the road. This is not. Okay. And this fence doesn't mean anything. This is a space it's waiting to do something with. Okay. You are the front of a building... Let's take that tree out. We don't need to take trees out from behind. And we don't need to do anything with here, though I could clean out right near the, the, the fish there. Now, this is our main road through here eventually. And I don't know that we're going to have a road running this area like we do over here. What was that, Durkachi? So... Need to be cautious about Durkachi. It's easy to sell all of the charcoal. We're down to 25,000 again. Okay. We may not do anything with this yet. Because we may be transitioning a bunch of charcoal around. One problem with transitioning is that we've now got all this firewood storage over here. So we have to create more warehouses over there to deal with more firewood storage. Yeah... Or we just decentralize this whole thing. That's possible. We could put three charcoals over here and three charcoals over here and not have this nice centralized system. Yeah, we could do something like that. Hmm. Um, slow it down so I can think. Durkachi, what are we going to do with you? We've got 10,000 sitting here. Problem with that, though, is once we sell the 10,000, we either get zero this thing out or 10,000 from town will come in to, uh, 
to take its place. I want you. So you want 15,000. We have 20 in town. We have 22. I'm going to leave charcoal alone. I'm going to keep it. Treasury's fine. We don't need that sale. Anything else, though? Dakarchi, you... You don't do mead. We don't need any more animals of any kind. Metal parts. Whoa. Okay, horseshoes have been taking a lot of the uh, emphasis away from metal parts. So let's just bring 200 of those back in. We may also be doing a wave of repairs around town. So we get some metal parts coming in. Well, leather, where are we at? Let's do... Oh, a thousand leather. Keep our shoe industry going. Do you want to buy shoes? We haven't sold shoes for a while. Right there. So we've got 2,900 shoes. We should be able to sell 2,000 of that. Deal. Bring shoes in. Which actually should be sitting right next to the... The uh, trader right now. 2,000... Temporary. Um, salt was not meant to be checked. You're supposed to be 2,000. So we'll bring that in too. Okay. Shoes are sitting here. Yep. There they are. They're fine. Okay. So I was thinking about putting that kind of stuff here. It sure is convenient to have it right here. Maybe just shoes. We don't really sell the warm clothes anymore. We don't really sell the clothing anymore so maybe it's just the shoe sits there and everything else goes over to their our central storage area could be so wheat shoes buckwheat charcoal chicken eggs sunflower oil clothes where are we right now whoa we're actually sitting pretty good yeah let's do a thousand of you i think we've got a lot of textile in the system so that'll be replaced quickly uh deal yeah because we got the two tailors running right now Okay, so a thousand clothes. There you are. And temporary you. And that's also sitting right here. Right there. Yeah, a thousand even. Ah, a thousand even. That's all I put in here. Okay. So we got five, six, seven, eight thousand. We could do two thousand there. I don't see us needing more than a. Th oh, we could do that too. All right, fine. 2,000 there. Iron is sitting over here. Doesn't need to be, but I just needed a place to put it. Ah, and it's the closer place. That's why it never came over here. Yeah. So if iron comes out of here, there's charcoal over there. Iron seems to fit this one a lot better. Let's do... 8,000 charcoal just to have more over on this side. And let's do 2,000 iron just to give us a place on this side of the bridge to, uh, to store it. Okay, so your overflow over here as well as the iron that's over here of another 2,000. For when this thing ramps up a little bit more, though we're still limited by how much wood we bring over here. Which is not something I still have any interest in pushing to make sure there's wood stored here. Because they're still making iron ore faster than we're ever going to be able to smelt it. I guess we could kick you up a couple more. It's just not important. We have more than we'll ever use. and yeah, We could sell some of it, but that just was never my emphasis. Right now, I'm trying to figure out the new charcoal system. You are building up logs we're going from four to 13 so the last round did us pretty good my I'm, I'm sitting on slow good so with that you guys have a lot of trees to take down which means this probably is a good area to put charcoal your field your field your field let's do another field over here instead of there and let's do something else in the space because it's closer we could do charcoal down in here. Should be far enough away from housing. I think. And we don't need to do that many of them. 
Okay, so grab me a new field. Did that work? I think it worked. And grab that corner. Yeah, they'll come up and go down, or they'll go down. And they can even come across. No, they're going to come down this way. So you're going to go there. You're going to come out over here. You're going to go longer. Let's go the full 50. Because we're not going to get much width out of this field. I can't quite see my straight line. I see you're not really straight. So we'll zigzag back a little bit. <laughs> you're there. Yeah, we'll do that. You're going to go... i got to go from there to about here. Nope. Too long. Okay, we're, we're on a diagonal now. Just too long. Okay, there we go. So you and the gate is on the correct side. We'll do that. Alright, so you're going to be the field that used to be right here. Hmm. And you're the field that I wasn't going to plow. Okay. So in that case, it went and the house is done. I'm running slow. So in that case, well, first of all, let's connect you, activate you. You are not plowing. And you were going to be fallow and then potato and then hemp and then potato and then fallow. But I wanted to alternate you with this one so that we always have potato going. So this fallow, so this is next year means this is next year. So this is hemp next year when this is potato next year. Okay, that works out fine. Okay, you're set up. What do we do with you? We're going to start using your firewood fast and hard. So let's increase two of you. We'll take that one off. Let's go to almost full operation like the other one. And I don't know that we're ready for five and three we might be five and three works really good broken a leg when they are also doing projects you know doing clearing out uh, construction zones and they won't be all of these are all the way up in here so they won't be doing any of those so they're just so these folks are limited to their 18 they can't get more logs than that so i think we're three and one in here and three may still be aggressive, but we will be using the the firewood over here much more often. I don't know the distance in which charcoal starts to affect housing. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes these yellower, but that's just by coincidence. Any building will make them yellower. You see how that phases through. So that's not a thing. Come on, let go. Um, so I don't know at which point these guys will start to affect their health. I'm hoping that I can go ahead and put like three of them right up in here. Which means something like uneven terrain. Alright, does not like that end right there. We can go here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Try that again. Dump you, grab, yeah. Okay, so you, try that again. Finger off the clicker. There we go. So, it's still only certain orientations that it will, it will allow. Okay, so straight. No, I guess we're, we're going off at an angle like that. What does that mean? So I can't, curve you I can curve you in if I go a little bit higher okay so let's go straight up something like that I can get away with right there okay so you're going there and I spun you like this I think that looks pretty good uh, back a touch and beyond that, it doesn't really make sense. I could do something like that and make them come down here and curve in, and that would make the road look good. 
I will do that. That'll force a road at least to here, and there'll be a little bit of a tail that goes into there. Then it ends. Okay. This guy was stuck out there to make sure it didn't interact with the bridge. It could be anywhere. Do, do we, now, if I, if I try it over here to make them come down further down this road, they're just going to be cutting the diagonal all the time. So, I guess it really doesn't matter where I put it. Yeah, we'll just do that. This will eventually go away, and eventually they'll start using this. And we'll get our road to come back into here. What are you? You're a fence for what? I don't remember putting you in. Alright, so the majority of our crops have been brought in. I want to make sure that this guy is maxed out right there. So pumpkin was the only other thing besides cherries and... Oh, cherries and apricots are over here. Okay, you got the apples, you got the pumpkins and peas. Okay, so all this is coming in and then it's being... Now, pause a moment. They're eventually coming back to here. You were... Dercachi, you do apples. You do do apples. We've got six days left. Let's get rid of 4,000 apples. That'll leave us with 1,500 for a year. I think that's probably a good number for us. So, deal and... That's not what I want. There, that's what I want. Apples. 4,000. And temporary you. That should fire off a whole bunch of workers. Although they're going to be concentrating on salt, aren't they? Yeah, it's Dirkachi, though. So, they've got a long trip to make. But still, they have surprised me before. They have. One more chance here. Family settling into town. Apple still hasn't triggered. You're going to work. You are... Everybody's kind of taking a rest. And there must not be a lot of laborers in town anymore. Because nobody is triggered over here. Laborers, just five guys. And... Looking for a job, only four. Okay. So, why is that? Why? Where have all of my laborers gone? Are they all over here? No. So that's not it. You're not over here for any reason. Are you in the markets? Pulling everything in from all around town? No. Okay. Interesting. We've <laughs> The more houses we build, the less workers we have in town. Mm hmm. Okay, now I did hire two people there, and I did bring on two more here, but they haven't hired. Interesting, what has happened? What was that? Because normally they're still listed. You know, normally we had, what, to almost 50 total between laborers and looking for a job not long ago. You know, before we hired on this one, this one, and this one. Except for those four, that's, there's not a lot of workers there. Um, warehouses have all mistakenly been hired, so we can eliminate all of these. Yeah, I must have made a change to a single warehouse at one point and brought everybody online. You are there to continue bringing these over, though you're doing more resting than you're actually carrying bricks. You're not hired. You're not hired. We don't need you. You are active. We, we do want you active. Uh, these three over here. Um, yeah, this is going to be constantly moving. In fact, you need a second person. You will be constantly moving things in and out. We're out of thatch over here. We've been using a lot of thatch. How are we on thatch for the whole town? Thatch. There you are. 6,000 somewhere. Wow. I know there's thatch over here. 4,000. I really put 4,000 thatch over there? I don't need 4,000 thatch over there. 2,000 is more than enough. Well, let's move that around the town. And I put 2,000 thatch over here somewhere. You? No, you're still hanging around. We moved you to there. Right there, yeah. And I've been told to use the arrows. I won't, it's just not my play style, but for those of you who don't know about that or haven't noticed, we can move through all the warehouses, for example, just by clicking like so. I prefer to roam my town 
and go through, remember what the buildings are. It makes it far more personal. You know, I'm, I'm essentially the mayor of all of these people. So I get in and I click on the buildings and I look at what's in there. I don't just go through mechanically. So that takes away the, the intimacy of, of the experience. So I don't use those arrows. But it is there if you get into a bind and can't find something. Or if that's more of your play style and you want to do it that way. Uh, schools, we're looking pretty good over there. We've got seven pupils. We've got four pupils. We've got six pupils. And did this nine-year-old ever turn to ten and move in over here? And you are, yep, there you are. The three kids, the nine-year-old, no. Okay, you were 13 when you arrived. And yet you, and you've already married off. Cool. This is the same house, right? The three kids? Yeah, those weren't the same numbers. Yeah. So you got here, found a young lady, and grabbed the next house. <laughs> or probably this one. Yeah, right there. Okay, that's good to see. Where am I at? Ah, 40 some minutes now. So we have wiped out quite a few houses. Uh, can I speed things up again? Are we good over here? We are still up and running for one more day. Anything else you want to do? Shoes, this is you. The shoes have not really arrived yet. Shoes, we're kind of there. Okay, we need to get some things moved. How? And we don't have enough laborers now. And I don't know what happened to them. I don't know what... This guy may have sucked a bunch of labor out of us. That could... And we did do this for more months out of the year. Okay. I like my laborers more than I like my... You know... Doing these other jobs. So let's take you guys all down. You can just be a supplement now. And we don't need the iron right now. I do need my trader full. So what else have we done lately that has tapped us? It's just the two here, right? There's only one there because the stable didn't help fill up the the uh, the hay. Did we ever get any more hay in? Which one are you? Right there and right there. No. So we're going to have to steal hay from other parts of the map for this time until we get these going. Wait a minute. I did add a bonus here. No, I didn't. Because I no longer needed to say 120% because it was working. Because we had the extra people working in the sheep farm and the cow sheds and they were keeping their their respective uh, um, hay barrack full. So they're doing their job. So we don't have that happening here because apparently the stable ladies do not provide that same service as the sheep or the cows. So we're going to have to emphasize labor on these guys than, more so than the other ones. Okay, so you guys get a bonus. We'll do 120 on all seven of these and see if that helps next year because it's over, season's already over. Get these guys filled up and we don't need a lot. We just need, you know, it close by. Because it's a long trip in to go and grab it from somewhere else. Okay. So that is that. Um, any more labor? I need to force some product over here. So let's just do that. I'm going to keep everything paused for the moment. I need a bunch more apples. I need shoes. So I need six, I need 1,200 shoes over here immediately. That is you. There's only 50 reserved or wait, no, right there. So let's just pull, let's pull 1,000 by cart. I think so. So 1,000 to there. And clothes, we did 1,000 clothes. We need 200 more. So, yeah. I think our laborers that are up and running are actively refilling this guy rather than moving the rest of it out. 
So let's do another 200. Uh, there's only 150. So we'll grab all that, move you to here. And apples, we need another 3,000 apples. From where? There's none here. They're all still out here. There's none there. That's being hauled away. There's a bunch over there. Let's pull the rest of you by cart to here. Where are the rest of the apples? They're sitting out in other places, like here. Yeah. Let's pull... Let's pull 1,000. Out of there, into here. There. And you probably got a bunch. But now I don't know what's what's needed. So we need 4,000. We have 2,500 accounted for. 2,600 almost. We need 1,300 more. And we need a quick. So you, you. Apples, 1,500. Let's get 1,300 apples moved. So I'm, I'm making a mistake by doing that. Let's do 1,000. I don't know how much a cart takes. So we could get carts simultaneously going to multiple places if I don't do more than a cart's worth. So if we do a thousand of you into here, and then another cart right there, let's do 300. I think that finishes us off. So another cart. Yeah, 300. And send you out to here. If I've done too much, then they won't be on a line item anymore. They'll be out here loose. And they will be available for market stalls to just walk over there and grab them. So that should all work out. But these guys are going to be pouring into our, our, our land now. Yeah, our, our province. Otherwise, we've got the three new charcoal piles over here. We need to do something similar to that over here. We have the ability to make lots of firewood. Just don't have the ability to really get it over to the other side. We have housing over here. Not sure where to put it, unless there's a space between all these little circles. We only enter from here, though we do walk past, though we can walk through these circles. Yeah. So if I were to put a charcoal pit or pile in here, I cannot. Yeah, they won't fit into the voids there, and there's trees through all of these, and this doesn't really make sense, and we're too close to housing. So I don't know how to do charcoal over here. I really don't. I think it really comes down to uh, we'll, we'll continue to use these as we can. Though I could shut down the five. I could mothball these guys. Let's do at least the ones that aren't being used. You will go ahead and empty. Make empty. And then we'll mothball these five. Keep these guys going since they're close by. And I guess get concentrating over here. Is this the path you want to do? It's either here, as far as where the population is. Getting them over or getting them over. Uh, died of old age and has moved in with her relatives. Okay, so wherever she came from, and I wish there was a way to find that out. Oh, there is. The one that passed away still triggers the old house. Okay, so we have one house available now, and you are not the priest. Okay, you're only 29, so you got you got some time left, but it's a corner lot like this one made me think of that. Okay, so a new family's moving into there, and it will be a new family because it didn't instantly fill. And so how do we utilize this population the best? This is kind of becoming a an industrial little area. We're going to put in a row house here. We're going to roughly put in something like this. We were not going to put an archway on this backside. 
too long. Something like so. We could leave room for a road. Okay, so we'll go a little further. And just something like. I don't know what's really going to happen there. But with that road that, you know, this road's going to go away because of the fence. Roads, a, a real road's going to form here. They're going to still grab clay and sand, so there'll be a little bit of a of a cluster in there. We could walk through this and charcoal this area and firewood out of here. Can we employ that? I don't know if it's as the crow flies or as the the, the caterpillar walks <laughs> to get to work as far as distance goes. Is the game counting this distance or is it counting this distance or that distance? I'm not sure. I guess we can put one in there and just see how quickly it, it hires up. That might be around to go. And I guess, well, we are slowly adding to our you can do that and do that we're slowly adding to our population and most of all we're adding to our our food production and our food variety um, do we gain anything else for here no so we're done with that for now okay um, I'm, I'm debating whether it's time to throw another row house in it probably is I mean that added quite a bit of food these have already already added quite a bit of food, and we are doing a, a house here and there up in that area. This one should be just about done. Uh, three trees left. So let's go ahead and fire you up, which is right here. So you can go in next. We get that done. We'll get a bunch of bricks used up. And with that, there'll be more people over here to grab work from there. I was hoping to grab this population, but yeah, I guess this population needs to be... Uh, part of this as well yeah so let's do that let's put in a lumber forestry camp into here you are uneven terrain rotate you around in what way well I would think it'd be like that you really don't like this what is going on ah it drops off this direction okay so we're like this but yeah look how far that building sinks in wow so we can do it if we get a little higher. And that's fine. I kind of want you as far away as I dare go so that they naturally take further in before they just strip it all right here. Okay, another house is complete. So what's the least amount of trees to get this going? But It falls off that direction, but I'd really like for them to enter like here. One tree. Ooh. Is there a way to eke out? No. So close. One tree that way or that way. Let's go for that one tree. All right. So you're there, and you are going to move up next. Hopefully they can take out one tree while we're working on this row house. And then you will be the next job, and at that point we can lay out next time a bunch of new, uh, uh, I guess, warehouses and charcoal pits. Yeah, you guys are what for us? You are onions. Let's do that real quick. Let's sell... Remind me, what do the pigs eat? And do we care anymore? We still have so much of this food that's going to rot. We, although we have had a lot of piglets. Look at that. Boom. Suddenly we have nine piglets. So you, Slaughterhouse, need to be doing... Yeah, cows, sheep, and pigs. So, pork. We're already making pork. Wow. Okay. Pork, beef, sallow, and more tallow there. We've got cow hides going. We have space for more. We are doing what in this one? Plenty of room to bring all of our sheep hides in. Okay. So, that's working out. And we still have, these are the original crops we put in. There was 400 and some of these. There was 400 and some of those. We've hardly eaten any food. So, is it because the pigs are so young? 
or did Hotfix 5 rebalance how much the pigs ate because everybody's complaining about him saying don't do pigs because they eat too much suddenly this doesn't look like that daunting of a uh, of an issue let's take you up to 10 <laughs> okay well so far I've been waiting for this thing to scare me and it hasn't yet um, so yeah we're only set up for 200 each here and I don't remember if onions are a thing it's just beetroot carrot and cabbage so B, C, and C. The only other C is cucumber, so the, the first, the B and the first C's. Okay, so in that case, we could sell the onions. Uh, I want to go here. Onions and 90... 29. Leave us 1,000. Leave us 1,200. Let's leave us 1,200. So let's do something like... 1800 1800 and deal and let's throw 1800 into here of onions where are you there you are and I think I'm coming to the end of this episode um, oh that's still sitting here it is didn't I say move the glaze over to here I did but nothing's happened all right I'll hire somebody up in there so that gets done. Um, you also want, what, 22 days left? Carrots? None. Interesting. Trading is suspended. I guess there's no point in even continuing this. Yeah. So, was that already there when this began? It might have been. Boy, I hate when that happens. I mean, the onions are all going to sit here and just degrade. I mean, the, the sale will happen next spring. And they'll still be fine by then. Yeah. What happened here? This is our last month to run this. We've got three boats. So we'll hire you up for next year. And at that point, let's go ahead and move these orders over. And then we'll cancel them for this one. Okay. And we'll move these over. Though I'm pretty sure that's been done, you know, four or five times now. And yeah, because there's already salt over here. All right, so you guys are up and running. Salt is here, fish are being dried, and the boats are being used. Perfect. You, how you doing? You're our new one. Boats are all about to break down. You have been here, so you're just going to have to fix all of them next March. It just worked out that way. Okay, so you're next. Bricks are being delivered. Bricks over here. Still at 15. Darn it. They're grabbing them out of the warehouses instead of emptying our brickworks to, you know, to uh, ease our burden of storage. Oh, I wish they would emphasize going there instead. I wish you could choose that. Otherwise, anything else going on that we had talked about? We still have not gotten anybody over here. I do have you set for 120% and all laborers, but you're kind of out at the fringes, so you're not a high priority. And laborer-wise, uh, looking for a job, 11 people, laborers 10. So our numbers have really dropped off all of a sudden, and I really don't see where they went. I mean, we've added houses, but we haven't really added that many jobs. So that was kind of surprising. That was. I mean, these are all guy jobs. So the ladies heading into some of these warehouses don't count. That was never an issue. Well, I guess it was, but, you know, laborer-wise, but there weren't that many. You know, five or six total. So nothing to put a dent into the 50 that were out there a couple episodes ago. Um, nothing else came online, right, except for these guys. So we got that crew there, one lady watching this one. And just two in here and you're not even working <laughs> yeah let's not deal with that right now i'll figure that one out some other episode but we don't have the supplies to really get this going i need to go through and balance out our ashery and and maybe get where is the ashery i was looking at this all backwards is that you that's bricks you are soap it was two over here this one so these have been here the whole time 
so that's not new jobs and you're making what you can but potash has not been a priority ash is used to make both of these so that is the priority and lye is probably overproduced right now not really okay is it sitting over here some definitely more than we're making tallow but we could trim that back a little further do something like 150 300 and 500 I think that probably works and then we could hire up this other one and do the same thing in it yeah let's do that for a little while so there's three jobs are gonna four jobs are gonna go away um all right we'll do that apply to all and apply to all so we'll get two of you up and running this is going to come online next time so it is a two story and no store so that means where am i you no well it's you actually so it will be this guy it'll be four apartments coming in so four more families going in right there we've added five six families added five six last time We'll be adding, was it this one? It was a corner, U. So that one goes in next time, along with this one. Yeah, we'll see. We'll just see how this all balances out. So I'm going to call that one finished for now. Of course, we do have all the ladies over here. So that took out a bunch of the ladies, but it was the guys that I was questioning. But yeah, there's a, a group of ladies right there that had to get hired up too. So I'll catch you next time, folks. Thanks for watching and bye-bye now.